Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw, and if you're new here, then hello and welcome. And if you're already existing, then to the same to you. Hello, welcome. Welcome back, welcome back. Well, today I'm bringing you one of my try on hauls, but today try on haul is, I've been very, very lucky again. I've been gifted this. So I haven't paid for this um, haul. I've been gifted this. So I'm just making that clear. I haven't paid for none of it, which I'm super, super lucky. Um, I done one for Fashion Over about three weeks ago and obviously it's had quite good response to it so I've been sent out again which is just so fantastic and it just goes to show how lovely you guys are and viewing and stuff like that because I'm really grateful that Fashion Over sent me out another set to try on but obviously I wouldn't have been sent this out if it wasn't for you guys so I really want to say thank you so much you're always saying lovely comments you've been so kind to me and I just can't say thank you enough so yes this is gifted but I am really pleased that Fashion Over gifted me last time. One, because who doesn't love something for free? We'd be lying if we didn't say we was. But two, them bits that I got, they're just like, I've got my Christmas panel dress, I've got my Boxing Day dress, I've got my Christmas Day dress. <laughs> so that saved me a little, little fortune there. But I done my Asda haul last week, and there's a few pieces here that is gonna go quite nice for the coats and styles that I got last week. So it's quite nice to have a mix. So this is a Fashion Over curve haul. Um, I've got some bits in slightly smaller sizes, but they're still part of the curve range, but they're still a fashion over curve range. It's a minute and 33 in and I'm just la 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 la. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you I've got on my black vest, and I have got my Spanx on, but I've also got some black skinny jeans on. These are the washed black skinny jeans, so they look a little bit like they're a bit faded. I've only worn these once, they're just meant to be like that. These are for £13 from Primark. I'm just showing you because... Is to wear with something and I do get asked sometimes where they're from and it just saves you asking so I'm gonna start off I've got this lovely top and this really reminds me of the new look dress that we got that time so this is a really lovely pattern it's like a very autumnal sort of like beigey caramel color with like the Dalmatian slash leopard print I don't really know what print that is but I've got this in a size XL and this is called the not over this blouse and in US dollars this is $29.99 but I've tried to convert it. The conversions may not be correct to the penny, but they're roughly. I've done it on my iPhone, so please don't quote me if I'm completely wrong. But the UK price is 24. But do you know what? I pick this because I, all of the stuff I pick myself because I will only wear stuff that I do like. Um, but I pick this top, and do you know why I like it? I love a top that comes in at the waist. I just think it makes you look really nice. It's my smallest part. And it's got buttons down the front. The buttons are the same colour, so it blends in quite nicely. It's a nice shift on material. And look, it even goes in at the back. And it's got the balloon sleeves, so if you don't like your arms. I really like this. To be honest, I'm probably going to wear this today. <laughs> I've been wanting to wear this stuff, but I just can't wear it until I've done my haul. But with the jeans, I just think, what a lovely little outfit in the autumn. I could wear this with sandals if it's still a little bit warm. I could wear this with little Chelsea boots. You could wear this with like a darker skinny jeans or trousers, like some loose collots in black. But look at the detail on it. It's really nice. It's actually got a really nice V as well. That's one thing I've got to say about fashion over dresses. Sometimes the Vs can be extremely, ooh, a bit deep. And when you've got big boobs like me, it looks a bit trashy. But the Fashion Over Vs are perfect. You get the tiny bit of cleavage, but they're not super low, so they're like a classy V. I just love that, that it comes in at the waist there. Really looks nice, and it hasn't got the buttons there, so it isn't restricting. So I like this, and I got this in the size XL. Because I was getting the one XL, so I don't know if there's a double XL. Oh, that is into something. He's barking at something. We, I did start filming, and well, not that it's a surprise, but I did start filming, and then all of a sudden I've had something delivered from Emma Bridgewater, so the delivery man came, and but it was barking at him when he came as well. So I got that. Also, I got this, which I think is absolutely adorable. I love a pearl. As you'll see in this haul, I love a pearl. I got this cardigan. Now this cardigan is so super soft. It says soft, cozy, and yarn sweater. Doesn't actually say what size this is. Hasn't got a tag on it. This is a large. I've got this in a size large. And this cardigan is really lovely because what I like about it is it's just a nice plain black cardigan. So it's nice and casual. I always think black's super slimming as well. But look at this. They've got like the little pearly buttons on it. So just adds that little bit of something to it. Really, really classy. 
And to be completely honest, in the winter, I like wearing all my dresses and I love just chucking on a cardigan to make it a bit more warmer with some black tights. So this is just really, really pretty. And even with little jeans and stuff, I think this looks really nice. Nice plain trousers, nice plain vests. But this just gives it that little bit something extra. So this cardigan is in a size large. And this is in US dollars, $24.99, but it's £20 in UK price. Do you know what, in pound and sterling, I was, I was looking at it and I thought, what's that say? But I've written down the American names of it, like sweater. And I'm thinking, what's a sweater? What's a car? Because <laughs> not American. But obviously it's an American company, so they've sent this out. I'm really grateful for this. This is super soft though. I don't know if you can see, it's that really lovely, like soft brush knit. It's really nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to go bobbly neither. You know, sometimes they've got that rough feel and they feel like they're going to go bobbly under the armpit. But I really like this. And this is in a size large. Oh, I'm so out of breath today. What a shock. Thank you so much, my, oh my God, my, my like home tour yesterday. I didn't realise I was filming it the wrong way. This is why I shouldn't be doing YouTube because I am such a novice at this stuff. I'm filming as if I'm doing like an Instagram story. I've stuck it up. I don't watch my videos before I put them up because I'd make myself cringe too much. So I've just sort of stuck it up and people are like, I couldn't see it all because it's upside down or like the wrong, I thought, oh. I couldn't believe that I'd done it wrong. I'm sorry, but thank you so much for the lovely comments. It's really, really kind of you. So I got this jumper. This is in a size medium to large, and this is called the With All My Love Turtleneck Sweater. It's like a black jumper. It's got a bit of a turtleneck, which I'm a bit of a post to, but I picked this before I'd done my Asda haul last week with the turtleneck, like the, um, the roll neck. We call it roll neck in the UK, so the roll neck jumper. So I... Don't know how I feel about these, but this is such a lovely, big, big, chunky knit black. And it's that sort of striped chunky knit. And I got this for, this is £34.99, but in UK price, that dollars, but it's actually £28 in UK pounds. So I'm going to try it on because you know what, when I pick this, I pick this purely because I really, really liked how the model looked in it. And she looked really, really pretty in it. I thought, you know what, it's nice and oversized. And over Christmas and sort of autumn, when I'm eating so many cakes and stuff, I, I actually I really like the sleeves on this. See, now I really like that on. I am a bit double chinny in it, I won't lie. Like, this is proper pushing my chin <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I like Uncle Festa <laughs> from the Adams family. <laughs> I actually don't look, Rosie. Uncle Festa. <laughs> chin like me let's see if that's worked slightly but with the spot and the bum chin i'm just like fester today i love the sleeves they're like a bell sleeve so these are super comfy to be fair i can probably imagine me wearing this with a pair of trainers and like little skinny jeans on the school run this is super super warm and it's quite a nice length as well some jumpers i find they come to there and then you get like you know like the smiley face that i get i say i get a lot with my jeans where my belly sort of like hanging low and considering I ain't got Spanx on, or I've got Spanx on, I've still got a little bit of it. On a normal day, I don't wear Spanx on a school run, so it's going to cover that. Lots of room for a mince pie. I like this jumper, actually. I'm not keen on the neck when it's full up. I can't wear it like that, because I just look like a floating head, especially, and I feel massive in it. But once I've rolled that down, that is actually really nice, and the quality of it's nice as well. It's a nice feel knit. Sometimes when you order off them online companies... You know when you can order something, it looks super nice online, and then it actually comes and it just feels like something so cheaply made. It is actually really nice, and I'm pleased it is, because if it wasn't, I'd have to be like, sorry, fashion over, it's a bit rubbish, but no, that actually is what quite nice. Do you know what's nice about it? I've just realised, the actual roll is sewn onto it, so they, I thought, that's really nice, but it's going to be annoying if that unrolls, but it's sewn in, so it's naturally got the roll. Oh. I don't always come over me. Well, I say that. I say that. I don't always come over me every day. I'm literally like a maniac. I'm a maniac all the time. But it's because little Bertie, I don't, it sounds horrible. I don't like leaving him on his own too long. I feel like I want to go down and sort of like see if he's okay because he's not allowed upstairs. So the next thing I got is another jumper. That's why I put the jeans on. This is literally going to be one thing that I'm doing is going to see Santa with the kids. 
and this is just going to look so nice with my beige coat that I've got from um, Asda. Look at this jumper. Oh, honestly, I love this. This has got all pearls on it. This is called the Won't Let You Go Pearl Sweater. I got this in an XL as well. And this was $34.99. So it's 28 UK pounds. Roughly, because we all know I'm luck with maths. Not very good. I tried it on the iPhone. We'll blame the iPhone if it don't work. But it's got like, oh, honestly, it's so nice. It's a nice cream as well. It's like not like a, a white cream that when you wash it, it's going to go great because I can't wash whites. It's got like a buttercream sort of colour to it. And I am a bit worried because I always feel like I'm going to look absolutely ginormous in cream. I think this is meant to be a bit off the shoulder, you know. Yeah, it is. Do you know what I like about this though? Even though it's sort of like young and funky. Here he is. Here he is. <gasps> Buddy, where you been? Where you been all my life? Oh, he's so cute. He blends in. Like, he's not even here. He blends in with the jumper. <laughs> but what I love about this is the fact that I think this is sort of a bit ageless. Like any age can wear this. This is sort of like, I think clothes are ageless anyway. But this is like really young you'll wear it and you'll feel trendy in it with like a nice pair of jeans and a nice pair of like little tan loafers or something but this is so expensive looking as well it looks classy i, just, I like a chicken where i've got the bingo ring bit going oh. but i love this it does look when you see the pattern and you see the knit in it it is much more expensive looking and yet again i love the peplum because if this was an oversized jumper like that i think i'd feel bigger in it but because it sort of pings into me there on my smallest part i can get away with this being a larger oversized size and i probably would wear this with like maybe like a dark blue skinny jean and little tan loafers and like a little tan bag and maybe like my nice big beige coat that i got from last week so that's probably what i would wear it with i really really like this buddy what are you doing he's like chewing one of the bits so i'm gonna try this off <laughs> i'm gonna try and get this off now oh. So, the next thing that I got was a t-shirt. Now, in the picture, the woman must have a very tiny torso. I didn't want to say bad things about people that are giving me free stuff. But fashion over, I didn't know this was a crop top. And I don't wear crop tops. But it's okay, because I'm going to try it on anyway. This is a size XL. And it looks very black black in the picture. But this is also like that acid washed black. So, it's got like that purpley sort of colour to it. So it doesn't look too black. This t-shirt, if you watch on my Instagram, my story, like on my, um, my outfit of the day and things like that, sometimes I like to get a t-shirt and wear it with like a nice floral skirt and little pumps and things like that. It's sort of trendy out, be a bit more younger, but I'm not liking this is a crop. I do like the pattern of the t-shirt, so that's why I picked it up. The t-shirt, I bet I've not even written it. Right, cropped, it's because I've written it down as cropped top. It's $17.99 or £13 UK money, which is about right, about new look prices, really. But I've got this. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to look like in this. I got this thinking it's a long top, but it's not. It's a crop top. Now, maybe with, like, jeans and stuff, but I wanted to wear this with, like, a nice little, like, baggy floral skirt and, like, Make it more feminine. And I normally, what I do with these sort of tops as well, is to sort of make them go a bit lower. But I haven't really got to with this. This is quite a nice cut t-shirt. Most t-shirts sort of come to like that. And then I get the fester look again. And my boobs look literally so long. But it actually is quite a nice cut t-shirt. And I quite like, on the sleeve actually, they're not making my arms look like the Mitchell in Tire Man. They're not absolutely ridiculous. This is quite a nice fit t-shirt. Only problem is... Is it didn't look a crop. Maybe it says crop on the website and I'm just delusional. But I was flicking through on an evening. But it's just... So you could wear this with like a little vest underneath. But if I pulled that up, it's sort of just the back meeting my jeans. So if I didn't have the spanks on, you would see my gut. And if I didn't have my spanks on, then my belly would be hanging over my jeans. So it probably wouldn't be a good look. But with a nice... I'd normally have this tucked in a long skirt. So it won't be an issue and I will wear it. But just to let you know that if you wanted to order this top to wear as a t-shirt, it is more of a crop size. It isn't a standard length of a t-shirt, just to let you know that. What I do really like, so I like the pattern, it says, in fashion we trust. It's like that on the banknote, the American banknote, in God we trust, isn't it? Dollar? I don't know. It's in um, Miracle on 34th Street. 
that's it christmas film that's what i know yeah in in god we trust that's what he uses to sort of like get santa out isn't it let's type with santa again but i just thought that looked really really cute with like a nice florally kind of skirt to sort of clash sort of patterns be a bit young and trendy when i'm feeling a bit young and trendy one day so the next thing i'm going to try is a coat now i have been looking for a black coat that i like for ages everywhere I got my lovely long duster beige one from Topshop a couple of years ago and they had it in black in there at that time. Since then I've not found one that I like as much so when I go to pick one up I think no it's not as nice and I'm sort of waiting out to see if it comes up lovely. So when I was on the website and I see this black coat, the girl in the images done it proper justice, it looked really lovely. So and I've got it out of the packet and it's actually really nice, it's kind of like a black it's woolen, but it feels furry. It feels like pony hair fur, but really soft. So I got this. Now this coat, black coat, this is 49.99 US dollars, but this is 40 pound UK money. Um, and I, I ordered this. What size did I get this in? I got this in an XL size, it's called a, It's a Long Story Coat. They name all their stuff, which is quite sweet, actually. Some of the things I'm like, why is that called that? But it is cute. So I got this coat, and I like the length on this as well. Now, this coat, I'm assuming it's meant to be one of those kind of like oversizey ones because it's doesn't come up large, but the girl in the picture is kind of wearing it a little bit like this. Oh, worry, worry, worry. But if you are wearing a jumper, this might look quite sweet with it underneath and some like nice boots. It is a classy coat and what I like about it is, is it's single breasted. So it's just sort of like goes down there like that and it's got just like a button either side. So, oh, it's double breasted because the buttons go like that. See, I'm not too fond of it like that. I prefer it open so that you can see the buttons either side. I like that it's symmetrical and it's got nice big deep pockets as well. It's all silkily lined. I love the length on this actually. I like the length on this. But this sort of coat, even though it's lovely and warm, it's gonna look nice sort of like with skinny jeans and stuff like what I've got it on. It's gonna look nice for dresses. But how I wear my coats in the autumn and winter is normally like this, I wear a jumper. I'd have it over my shoulders and I, honestly this coat just looks so classy the little buttons are like the little tortoise shelly ones it is a bit creased because it's come in a little box they've sent it out to me and I don't know how I'm going to do this I might have to steam this someone said spray water I'll put it in the bathroom while you're having like a shower so the steam can drop it out but with coats I'm just not too sure how I'm going to get the sort of creases out which is a bit disappointing but it is really really lovely like it's proper beautiful coat and I think it just looks really, really smart. So I ordered that coat and I'm actually really chuffed with that because that has been something that's been on my list for such a long time. So to be able to get gifted something that I actually really need, I was like, yeah, I'm well chuffed with that, like properly chuffed with that. You might notice, I'm trying not to laugh today. I've woke up this morning with like the, uh, like you know, like the frog in your throat. I kept coughing and every time I'm talking, I'm kind of losing my voice. And after I laugh, because I've got such a <laughs> like deep belted one, it really makes my throat feel sore. So, moving on anyway, because I'm just rambling on. I got this. Oh, if it's anything like the green knitted one from my last fashion overhaul, I'm going to love this. Look at the colour. This, I've got to laugh and smile about this. I'm getting really excited. It's bodycon. So we'll see what I look like in it because I might look like a sausage trying to bust out of the skin. Bodycon don't normally agree with me. But this dress, oh, this was 44 99 US dollars. This is 36 UK pounds, which it is quite expensive. It is dig. In UK, we have a lot of stores that sort of offer a lot more value things. But honestly, when I hold that, you know when something's heavy, it actually feels heavy. So it's good quality wool. It's really soft and it's really, really beautifully well made. It's got a similar top. Well, it's basically the same style top as the pearl top. But it goes down really long and it's got the side splits. I don't even know if I could get away wearing this as a jumper, really, because it's got the long splits. I'm just going to go over. I got this sent out in a size medium to large now this might be the little daring part when it says large i'm not too fussed by it i think oh you know i might need an xl in it but when it says medium that's why i get a bit scared because you're biting me are you biting me because i think oh what if it's going to be too small so we're going to see so i'm a standard yacht size 16 uk we'll see if it fits me the same as it would do oh, a medium in the uk to be fair it feels quite roomy it's got that strap at the back as well to stop it falling down. Oh, I love 
love, love, love this colour. This is so nice. Oh, <laughs> you know, you've got them tribes. <laughs> and they've got the bit between their legs. <laughs> You know, you know what I mean. You know when you watch Lion King, not Lion King, um, the Jungle Book, and what's his name, Mowgli, he has the little thing, loincloth, is it? Right. So now I've got jeans on with this, and it still don't look terrible. I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna take the jeans off. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna get my little pasty legs out. They haven't been shaved, neither, which is just like disgusting, Rose. No, I shaved them. I shaved them last week. It's fine. I get little blonde hairs on my legs. So let's see what this looks like. This does come with. Mm, see now the thigh split on this, I think that's a bit much for me actually. Like I really like this and what I probably would do, I'd have to wear black tights and black boots, I don't know if the thigh split's going to look a bit revealing. Do you know what I mean? Do you know, you know when it's just like, let me stand up on the stool, like, I don't know, do you know what I mean? It's a bit revealing, I think if the split was to sort of like, there, I might stitch it actually myself. But then if you are paying all that money, and this is too revealing for you, it is a lot of money, do you want to be stitching it yourself? I do love fashion over stuff. I think this is worth the money if you're gonna wear it like this. And I am quite short, so I think on a normal, regular girl with taller legs, that fire split's gonna be, I mean, if you are going out on a night out, this is quite a trendy sort of like party dress. So if you are going to have your legs out because you're going to wear a mini dress anyway, it's going to keep you warm. Nice little strappy sandals, nice little tan legs. Now it's going to look really cute. It's going to look pretty. But I'm thinking for everyday use, if I wear my like velvet knee high boots for this and my black tights, I think the fire high split is a little bit too big. But it's not too thing. I mean, I've been sent this out so I can... Bertie's trying to chew it. I might try and take that up to sort of have like a jumper. Do you know what I mean? Sort of like a jumper, take the bottom part off it because I really love the colour of this and honestly, I'm not even just saying this, the material is like the softest, but like heaviest, beautiful wool. It's so nice. It does come with a little woolen belt as well if Bertie will let go of it that you can tie around the middle of it, which even makes it look even more classy. It looks more like, more ladylike. It looks really pretty. I just don't know about the thigh split. I don't know if I've got very... I'll, I'll get a bit hung up about my legs. I think that's what that is. I'm not too keen on having too much leg out. We'll see. Oh, do you know what? I didn't have that on my waist. Oh, well, that's a bit better, actually. Right, dramatic over. <laughs> Fashion over, I'll be like, what are you on about? You're not even wearing it properly. So it's, it's about there, above the knee, the split, which is quite nice, actually. But I'm just thinking, maybe because I'm wearing Spanx, it's making it rise up. And then I couldn't really wear this without Spanx because I think I'd be a bit too belly in it. But I do like this, nevertheless. And I think it might look nice with jeans. But do you know what? Sod it. We're going to get the boots out. We're going to get the boots out. You're not meant to be trying on other stuff in these halls. But I need to see what it's going to look like with some like black tights and stuff. So I'm going to put your boots on. I need to see what this is going to look like. I need for you to see. So if you're going to order... You need to be able to see what this is going to look like. I'm going to get some tights. Bertie, stop chewing me, mister. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that in to make it look like I've got tights on. If that even work. If I don't even have a dress left. So, let's get on the stool. <laughs> so like with the black tights, Do you know what? That actually looks really nice. That actually really does with the black underneath. With my legs out, it looks a bit, a bit tarty. Eh? But with the black tights, that definitely looks really classy. Do you know what? I should have probably tried them on with it. But you try, I try not to put too many other bits that aren't from Fashion Over with it. In case they're like, well, well you're not really showing our stuff. You're showing everyone else's. But them boots with that actually look really, really nice. Win win. Win a winning chicken dinner, is it? Oh. Do you know what? I think I've drunk too much caffeine today. I'll start buying decaf tea. Right, I'm on to the last couple of pieces. This I did really love, and I got it out of the packet and I thought, oh, I don't know if it's going to be too small for me. But I got this in a size XL. 
Now there's a suit on there. Now this suit is $69.99, so it's £56. A little bit pricey, but if you go work and you work in an office, or even if you're going out for a party and you want that smart look, this is very similar to sort of the suit thing I tried on the other week. Um, but this, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me. I think I shouldn't have asked for the XL in this. I think I should have asked for the one XL because I am more like an 18 on my bottom half and that is extremely tight. And I'm just gonna show you something now. That ain't going up. <laughs> if it fitted, it probably looked really nice, but it's like, that is not going up for no one. And the jacket, is really nice. I've got this, yeah, this is the winning XL, it comes as a set. It says, ready for my raise. And the reason I got this is because I thought this jacket really looks like the jacket that I got before that everyone kept asking where it was from. And it had sold out. So I thought, they've got one there. So they, you can have a look. But the jacket, do you know what I feel like? Have you ever seen White Chicks, the movie, when they're in the changing room and she puts the leather jacket on and she busts out of the leather jacket? That's how I feel in this. And it's a real shame because do you know what? If I'd have been a little bit more realistic or sizing, and I, it's my fault, if I'd have asked for a double XL in this, this would have fitted and this would have looked super sweet because not taken away from the fact, but look at the detailing in this and the gold buttons and the little pockets. They're actually real pockets. It's thick, it's lined, it's beautiful. And do you know what? If I had this in the correct size, I would wear this with skinny jeans as well and a nice t-shirt. It's actually beautiful. And the wool material is like weaved. It's actually stunning. I've just picked it in the completely wrong size. So I actually might go on and order myself like a proper size in this. Might say to them, oh, can I exchange it with really cheap? Can I exchange it for the bigger size? No, what size is this? So yeah, this is an XL. I need a double XL in this. So if you're a 16 to 18, Probably because obviously you're getting it shipped over from America. You don't want to be having to send it back I would definitely recommend getting the, the one XL in it not just the XL because Yeah, the one with the one in front of it because I don't think That's gonna fit and I've got to try and get this skirt off now I'm coming to the last bit. I tell you what I Love this. It's definitely a favorite till last thing that I've saved and this has gone down in the sales This was 50 something dollars and it's gone down to 37 dollars 37 98 dollars and this is working out 30 pound in UK pounds I love the color of it and you'll know why because I'm a little bit addicted to a pumpkin and I'm gonna be a Pumpkin in this color. It's called rust the color rust I've got this in a size large and I've got this in a large because this is very oversized so I've got this in a large and this is called Staying Warm Peacoat. And I love a peacoat because they're like, you know the gentleman's coat? I'm gonna wear this for sort of like rocky little Chelsea boots, little skinny jeans and a t-shirt. And it's really gonna just make the outfit look really quirky. Well, these kind of coats, they're really oversized. They're meant to be oversized, but I really like this. This is more of like a, probably could have even downsized so it'd still be oversized. Considering I'm like an XL, you can imagine how oversized these are, but it's because they're meant to swing out at the back. But I just thought, this is like the perfect coat. I feel like I'm a landowner, like I should just have a little Land Rover driving around on my farm in this. But I just love this, and I love the colour of it, and I think with little skinny jeans and a little white t-shirt in the autumn, it's just going to look proper sweet. I'm going to have to get the creases out of this though as well, because I think the creases are bringing it down a peg, so I need to literally give this a little iron, any tips on how to do it? Do you know I should do? Look on the website and see what their care details are for it. Probably should do that. But I really like this, actually. I think this is lovely. I really like this. And I like things that go in the sale. And I like things that have got pockets that big. Winner. I love this. So I'm going to get off with this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next week, I'm going back to do my... I'm going to do a Matalan haul. And I'm going to do a Primark one as well um, in the next two weeks. One weekend Primark. One weekend, Matalan, I'm out of breath. I try and like stage it out, like I'm not out of breath and just taking a moment to think, but I'm not thinking, oh my God, I need to breathe. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If there's anything that you don't like, just tell me, you know what I mean? If there's anything you don't think looks nice on, or if you like pieces, don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to and subscribe. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I just will say this though, the quality, I know I'm a quite a bad filmer and you can't really see, and some of the people on the comments have actually writ, 
wow, it's come up a lot nicer than it actually even looked. The materials and the fabrics are brilliant for an online store. And I think that's why the prices are what they are. It reflects that. They are really good quality. They are nice quality. And I couldn't really believe the weight of that jumper dress. I wish I'd have put tights on with it first off though, and then boots, because now it's one of my favorite pieces. When I put it on, it was one of my least favorite. So it's definitely how you style some things. But I'm going to let you go. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend. I'm back on Tuesday doing my normal crafting and my like hauls. And then I'll be back on Friday doing a try and haul. Either Primark or Matalan. And then the other one will follow the next week. Whatever one I, you know, whatever I can get the most stuff in that I like and I think you'll like too. So take care. Have a fantastic weekend. Bertie. Bye.